So from a configuration point of view, what you have to do is you first got to globally enable DHCP snooping and then you got to activate it per required VLAN where your DHCP uh, clients are because it doesn't make sense to enable DHCP snooping on, all, on a VLAN if, the, if you don't run DHCP in that VLAN. And then what you have to do, you got to go and configure the port where the DHCP server is connected as trusted. Otherwise, as I was, say, as I was saying, nobody's going to be able to get any address from the server because by default, all ports are, are DHCP untrusted, which means the switch inspects all DHCP packets on the untrusted ports. And by default, is not going to allow any inbound DHCP server reply messages on untrusted ports. It's going to drop those. Now, if the DHCP server is, the, is in the same VLAN as the DHCP clients, then what you have to do is you have to go on, on the switch and disable the option A to injection by the switch. Otherwise, the configured DHCP server is going to ignore it. And then finally, verify, verify our configuration. We're going to see exactly what is the problem when the server and the clients are in the same VLAN. Why, by default, uh, when the server is going to receive the snoop DHCP packet by the switch, is going to ignore it and then it's not going to list any addresses at all. So let's go to the configuration side. And I'm going to make use of that VLAN 96. Now what happens is that this PCA is actually physically connected to switch 1. Let's take this use case. It's physically connected to switch 1. Then switch 1 is physically con connected to switch 2. And switch 2 is physically con connected to router 2. So I'm going to go on switch 1 and enable snooping in here. DHCP snooping in VLAN 96. I'm going to go on switch 1 and enable DHCP snooping in VLAN 96. Which means I got to go on switch 1. So VLAN 96 is going to have snooping enabled. But then if I want test PCA to be able to get an IP address from the DHCP server, which is router 2. So router 2 is my DHCP server. DHCP server. DHCP. So if I want test PCA to still be able to, to get an IP address from the server, then I got to go on switch 1 where snooping is enabled. And I got to configure the physical port from where I receive the DHCP reply, which is this one connected to switch 2. I gotta go and configure this as snooping trusted. Because switch one is gonna receive the reply from router two from switch two. Snooping trusted. So those are gonna be my configuration steps. And because I'm in the use case where the DCP server is in the same VLAN as the DTP client, then I'm gonna go also on the switch in here and remove option 82 from being injected by the switch. Remove option 82. By default, the switch when snooping is enabled is going to inject option 82 in the DHCP packet. And option 82 can actually be used by the DHCP server to better assign IP addresses to clients. But that, that's not a discussion. So let's go and create this use case. Instead of disabling uh, option 82 injection on the switch, we can go on the router and configure the router to just ignore uh, the, the, the problem in there, as I was saying. So let's go on switch one. And first of all, so let's say show IP DHCP snooping to make sure it's not enabled. Show IP DHCP snooping. So it says DHCP snooping is disabled and is not configured in any VLANs. Configure terminal. I'm gonna send IP DHCP snooping. So first globally enable it, enable it. And then IP DHCP snooping VLAN 96. You need both commands in there. At this point, show IP DHCP snooping. I'm going to see snooping enabled for VLAN 96. So it says that snooping is enabled for VLAN 96 and also switch DHCP snooping is globally enabled because I had configured the command. And then in VLAN 96, it says in here that there are no trusted ports in VLAN 96 from the switch point of view, which means the switch is going to drop all inbound DHCP server messages on any ports in the VLAN where it's configured, which is 96. And as you can see, option 82 is going to be injected by default uh, whenever the switch is going to do snooping. 
So what I gotta do next is I gotta go and configure the trunk towards switch uh, between switch one and switch two as trusted on switch one, which do show CDP neighbors. Switch one is connected to switch two on the local interface of FA1020. So I gotta go interface FA1020 and configure IP DHCP snooping trusted. So it's gonna say do show IP DHCP snooping. And now there we go, it says that FA1 is 20, it is trusted now. There you go in here, FA1 is 20, it is trusted. So I'm going to allow this, in this case, because interface 20 is trusted, the switch is no, no going to perform any kind of inspections over DTP packets received on that interface, which means server messages are going to be allowed in that port to be received. So let's go now on the, the DCP server, which is Vara 2. Show IP DCP binding. Let's say clear IP DCP binding. All. Debug DCP. Uh, not client, and debug all. And debug all and debug IP DCP server. packet. Let's make sure that logging is configured debugging at the console and that is because I want to see the debugs and this next time I'm going to go on test PCA and refresh um, uh, try to get a new IP address or I could go on switch one and go on the port where test PCA, PCA is connected and flap the port. Test PCA is going to be connected on FA105. So I got to make sure that the, the client is going to request a new IP address to see that it still, it still can get an IP address from the server. Interface FA105 was that. Interface FA105, shut down. Let's confirm that the client has noticed the, the port being shut down. This PCA. Okay, let's re authenticate. So you got the, the NIC card is down, which means that when I'm going to enable the, the switch port, the PC is going to request an IP address, it's going to send a DCP request. Let's go on the switch now and say no shutdown. And there we go. The server re received the DCP request from the client, but it says inconsistent relay information DCP the relay information option exists, but, but GIDDR is zero. So to keep it simple, what a server states is that it sees that the option 82 was, is, it was injected in the DCP uh, request from the client, and from the server's point of view, per the RFC, that means that the DCP request was relayed, which it, it was because the switch has intercepted the packet from the client. But then per DHCP design and RFC, you cannot have a DHCP packet to be, to be relayed and keep the GI DDR address to zero. So the server says, this doesn't make sense. This is not a valid DHCP request. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop it. So as I was saying, you have two options. Configure the DHCP server to just ignore, ignore the, the problem or go on the switch and configure the switch not to inject DHCP option 82. So I'm going to go on the switch side, switch one where I have snooping enabled, and I'm going to say no IP DCP snooping information option no IP DCP snooping should be
it may be IPDHCP option 82. Let's go up in here real fast. DHCP. Snooping. Information. IPDCP not binding. Where is the command I'm looking for? IPD. Let's let's do a short do short run all. Do short run all. Include DCP. There you go. It is IPDCP is no big information option. And let's say no. And now if you say do show IP DACP snooping. Do show IP DACP snooping. Then a search and option it is disabled now. So now going on router 2. There we go. It started working. So I have sent an act to the client. And I have also leased the address to the client. Show IP DACP binding. Address 53 was assigned just now. So before I was still receiving constantly the same problem, but as soon as I configured the switch to no longer inject the uh, option 82, the DHCP request from the client received uh, looked valid from the server's point of view, and the server is replied with the next available address to be assigned to the client. So on the bug all. And now if we go on the switch and say show IP DHCP snooping. Show IP DCP snooping binding. Then there we go. The switch, because it has intercepted all packets back and forth between, between the server and the client, it has seized the MAC address of the client, which is my test PC, which was binded to this IP address. As we know, I have seen that on the DCP server. It also is aware about the lease value from the DHCP snooping and also on which VLAN and which interface. So at this point on, on this interface of FA105, switch one is going to drop any new incoming DHCP requests. Of course, is the, the, if, when the client wants to re wants to um, refresh the lease, that's going to be not a kind of packet but which is different than a DHCP request message.